Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Steinsgate. So, last time, we just had a weird universe shift. Makise Kurisu suddenly hadn't been stabbed, and the satellite bonked into the building rather than just on top of it. And so, my theory on that is, like, prior, previously, like, there must have been a version of, uh, Okarin that had tried to warn Makise about what was going to happen to her. And so the reason for the weird universe jump is that other Okarin succeeded somehow, or some version of Okarin succeeded. I know there's time travel in this, but whatever. Some Okarin succeeded, universe jumped, and now we're in the weird space. So, and, and now he's just finished talking to Alpaca Man. Which is us, weirdly enough. I'm baffled. <laughs> Same. Did the whole hour since the beginning of Nakabachi's presentation really happen? I check online for any news. The net is buzzing about the mysterious machine that crashed into Radio Kaikon. To TV added to tips. All of the major stations in Tokyo, even To TV, are running special bulletins about it. Fortunately, it doesn't look like anyone was hurt, but Chuodori is still closed off. Akihabara Station is jammed with reporters and curious onlookers. Nobody has mentioned anything about the disappearance of thousands of people from Akiba streets, nor about Makise Kurisu's murder. It's all a mystery. A mystery? <laughs> okay, Chinibyo, activate. From the sofa, I spring to my feet, a wide grin on my face. Daru and Mayuri turn and stare. これも全て機関の隠蔽警察という<笑><笑><笑> <laughs> Honey, no, that's not what's going on. Unless it is, which would be an awesome twist. <laughs> Having come to a satisfactory conclusion, I take a celebratory bottle of Dr. P, my favorite soda, from the fridge. <laughs> you and everyone else in my town. <laughs> the lab has no air conditioning. Ice cold drinks are essential. Ah. ずのロードの後のドクターペッパーはいくらず最高にうまいな。最高。コーラの方が良くね。オカリンは本当にドクターペッパーさんが大好きだよ。ああ、しかせドクターペッパーさんが大好きだよ。この知的飲料の良さが
He can't be bothered to do anything that doesn't interest him. It's men like him who give our generation a bad name. <laughs> Those tad millennials. His lab coat, purchased from my own pocket money, I might add, which is doubly rude that he won't use it, just sits on the shelf. It's never been worn, and probably never will be. <laughs> Daru gives me a blank look. I sigh and turn his attention to the table in the middle of the room. Microwave oven to tips. Sitting majestically on top of the table is a commercial grade microwave oven. It's significantly larger than the newer home models. Really? Gadget number eight, huh? You have just so many plans. We went to high school together, and now we're going to the same university. We share an inseparable bond. Like prison cellmates. He's only been a lab member for two months, though. Details, details. <laughs> Keep on the level, man. <laughs> Awkward silence. Except for the cheerful music in the background. Man. All I wanted to do was have one of those cool, cryptic conversations where we talk about plans and preparations and other important sounding stuff, but no one knows what it means except us. <sighs> Shot down again. I don't get to enact my Chunibyo fantasies. <laughs> huh. So far, the Future Gadget Laboratory has completed a total of eight inventions. As I explained to Alpaca Man, the lab's primary goal is to develop weapons for the war against the Dark Dominion, led by the organization that rules the world from the shadows. Illuminati. <laughs> At present, we haven't completed any inventions of that sort. On the contrary, we haven't even figured out what we should make. But along the way, we have managed to create some ingenious, future-ish gadgets as a byproduct of our research. Uh, serendipity? It is a fundamental truth of science that great inventions are often created by accident. In other words, serendipity. If it is meant to be, it is meant to be. Allow me to introduce our glorious future gadgets. Gadget number one, the bit particle gun. Gadget number two, the bamboo helicam. You mean a camera attached to a bamboo drone? Gadget number three, could this be Ora Ora? <laughs> Gadget number four, Mode Snake. Gadget number five, Once again, I've made a worthless object by Goemon. Gadget number six, The Silo. S sil Saloon. Saber. Saloon? Saber. G Gadget number seven, Ghost in the Ball. Nice reference. <laughs> They can all be seen on the website Darumi, so feast your eyes upon the product of a mad scientist genius. I can't... I can't click on anything. Anyway, our current problem is future gadget number eight, the Phone Wave. Name subject to change. Phone Wave is a pretty weak name, so I've added name subject to change to the end until we come up with something better. For the record, it was my Yuri's idea, not mine. <laughs> When a future gadget is completed, the three of us discuss what to name it. I prefer names based on mythology, or names with hidden meanings that need an extra explanation to understand, because I'm extra like that. Daru thinks my naming style is too ridiculous. He just doesn't have a passion for words like I do. Mayuri can't be bothered to remember difficult names. She says they don't fit in her head. And so, our opinions on gadget names are always split. But I digress. The phone wave, name subject to change, is, in short, a remote-controlled microwave. You put food into the microwave before you leave, then on your way back, call the attached cell phone to start the heating process. Voila! Hot food ready on your arrival. 
but what if it needs to be refrigerated and it spoils while you're out? That would be bad. So it's basically a piece of junk. Oh, there we go. That works. <clears throat> a few days ago, ago, however, we discovered that the phone wave, name subject to change, has a second unintended capability. Our brave, or possibly just ditzy, Mayuri had made it her daily routine to heat some frozen fried chicken by remote control. Long story short, she was defrosting her beloved juicy chicken number one, as usual when the unexpected happened. The chicken came out more frozen than when she'd put it in. The microwave re-froze the chicken. Since then, Daru and I have been searching for the cause, because what the fuck? <laughs> ああ。バナナを冷凍してみようとしたら、さらに変色なことになったし。いや、あいまじんイッテッド。あ。What Let's see if we can't make it happen again. Hmm. <laughs> Bring forth the bananas! <laughs> I love her so much, she's so adorable. I take the bananas from my Yuri and stick the whole bunch in the phone wave, name subject to change. You need the money, honey. Buy her bananas, Okarin! But why next time? Why can't you do just one banana now? But I had already put the whole bunch in, so I ignore her hungry complaints. You jerk. The phone wave, name subject to change, is simple to use. It's a microwave with a phone taped on. The number is already in my address book. I just need to call the phone wave. Now, where did I put my phone? I check my pants and my coat pockets. No, no, where, where did I put my phone? Uh, I check my pants and my coat pockets. Now, where did I put my phone? I check my pants and my coat pockets. Um, okay. Move the cursor to the right or press P to bring up uh, the phone and call the phone wave. So we get a mechanic. Okay. There we go. Uh, Alright, so we found the phone. Uh, open mailbox, connect to network, address book, phone wave. Transmit call. Yay, we have mechanics! I'm connected. Oh, it's Mayuri's voice. Yeah, this is the voice of Mayushi Guidance, the system Daru programmed to operate the phone wave. マイシーの声聞こえてきた。少し黙れ。マイシーガイダンスが聞こえなくなる。こちらからタイマー操作ができます。シャープボタンを押した後、温めたい秒数をプッシュしてください。例えば、1分ならシャープ60、2分ならシ
It is. I never noticed that. Hans rule? Alright, that sounds important. No, no, that's important. Oh, aw. The three of us wait and stare at the spinning bananas. After 20 seconds pass, the microwave chimes. Mayuri takes the bananas out. That is weird. The bananas have become... not bananas. Gelatinous blobs coated with a thin membrane. After Mayuri discovered that the phone wave, named subject to change, had a freezing function, we attempted to freeze a bunch of bananas. This is what happened because freezing is not what is going on here. It just gets more confusing each time. No! Don't even ask! <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I, I would touch one with a 10-foot pole. We're an 8-foot Hungarian. No! Stop it! Wait, she already tried one? Don't eat the gel bananas, baby! It's a bad idea! ブニュブニュバナナか。ブニュブニュのバナナ。マユシ、あなたのバナナ、ブニュブニュだねって言ってみて。ノー。ダルノー。ダルくん、ダルくん。鼻血出てる。ダルユアソ。いいから言ってみ